What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Um, I'm not really sure if this is the same through all versions of SQL Server uh, Management Studio. However, it should give you the general idea of how to do this. Okay, what we're going to do is that sometimes people will install SQL Server and do it without a username and password. And whenever you do that you leave yourself vulnerable to people being able to access your databases if you have internet provided so anyway what you do is that you come over here to your object inspector and let's scroll up here and so uh you come into your object inspector and you got a security right here right up underneath your database okay so you, that's your server and that's your database instance right there okay so you come up underneath security you click on the plus and you got logins click on logins then you come down here you right click and you choose new login and then once that comes up then you type in a name test user okay and then you come down to sql server authentication you type in your password one two three four five eight five two uh one two three four five eight five two okay and then uh you come down here and you choose um uncheck that one okay and this makes it to where it does not enforce the password policy now you can enforce the password policy which makes you have to make it stronger and for this demonstration i just did one two three four eight five two i think that's what i did let me make sure one two three four eight five two yep nope one two three four eight five two let's do this one one two three four eight five two okay and so uh then you come down here or oh, i'm sorry you come over here server roles okay <clears throat> and then you choose uh for this one we're going to choose system admin this right here will give that user the ability to read and write to the database okay then you click on okay and then it creates that user which is right here okay then you can come over and choose um, you disconnect then you come over here and connect to object inspector then you can do test user one two three four eight five two and connect and log in failed for test user it's not going to let me log in with this joker that is what I wrote in it. One, two, three, four, eight, five, two. Connect. Okay, well, anyway. Um, test UER. Oops, I think we spelt our test user wrong. So that's test UER. Okay, so as you can see, we have mistyped our username. So make sure that you type in your username properly or you will have this problem. Let's come over here. We're going to disconnect from the object inspector and then we're going to connect to the object inspector and we're going to choose TES and then UER 1234852. Then we're going to connect and voila, we were able to connect. So, for one, make sure that you type in your username that you want to use and this will give you the ability to connect on to your databases using uh, ASP Classic, uh, ASP.NET, uh, and whatever other language, PHP, whatever, to connect on to your database securely with a username and password. So, I hope that I taught you something today, and uh, always remember, type in that username properly, okay? And if you don't do it right the first time, you can always delete it and then redo it again. Okay, Wayne Baron here with DarkFix.net. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.